in the not so distant future, we'll be back at it again. You know, singing, dancing, worshiping, gathering at actual events. But first, we want to ensure the hands that make these events possible are on their A game. Have you always wanted to start event planning professionally? Do you want to take your event planning business to the next level? Do you want more confidence in your gifts and abilities in this area? Well, this month, Judah Experiences Creative Tips is just for you. Our guest speaker is none other than Tanil Darvel of Five Seasons Bridal. She'll be sharing lots of tips and information on how you can start your event planning journey or take your event planning business to the next level. Join us Friday, August 28th at 8 p.m. on Judah Experience's Facebook Live and YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to all of our social media handles to keep up to date with Judah Experience's and so much more.
blood We magnify your name, oh Father Second Chronicles is recorded that fire fell down from heaven and it, and it was the glory of the Lord was so so heavy and so evident that that, that the priests or, or, or the flesh couldn't even enter the temple to minister we, we look for the glorious display but we forget what precedes it what preceded was when the king was praying Solomon, the king of Israel, was praying and he was asking the Lord and seeking the Lord on behalf of his people and saying, Lord, I need you to answer me. And there was worship going on and then there was prayer going on. But what happens when kings pray? What happens when kings pray? We've collected a gathering of kings here today to pray unto the Lord and, and, and the the book of Acts chapter 16 says not just when prayer by itself but what happens when prayer is coupled with worship for it says that Paul and Silas prayed and sang hymns to the Lord and when they did this there was an earthquake so in Chronicles you had heaven answering and, 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 and in Acts you had earth responding this is what happens when praise and worship meets Prayer, when kings decide to humble themselves and pray to the king of kings and worship the lord of lords we take today we take off our crowns and we cast them before the king and we worship you and we say the highest praise belongs to you not our ego not not anything else but we give the highest praise to you not to our will but to your will god So as we gather here today to pray and to worship, we say, let the prison foundations be shaken. Let the doors be opened. Let those that have been held captive be set free by the liberty of Christ. God, we worship. We honor you, God. Make it your glory. Amen. 
dominion and power. Stand before the Lord of Lords. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And so we bring our worship to the one that we know to be able to deliver unto us the victory in the face of any circumstance and situation. Our response is to give him the worship, to sing hallelujah to his name. Day in and day out, we give you the glory. We look to the only one that we can depend upon. The only one that has the strength and the power to deliver us. Despite the season, despite the time, despite the circumstance, your hand is unchanging. And so our worship, it remains. It remains, it remains, it remains. You're worthy, you're worthy, Jesus. Worthy of all praise, oh God. Worthy of all praise, oh God. Worthy of the glory, oh God. Yeah. Worthy, oh so worthy. Worthy, oh so worthy. Of love worthy, oh so worthy, worthy, oh so worthy, worthy, oh so worthy, and we bring to you our offering of us, yes, Lord, an offering of love. Offering an offering of us. Receive it now, O oh God. An offering of us. Yes, yes, God. Lay ourselves on the altar. Say, give you all of 
Almost all is not enough, so we give you all, oh Jesus. You said that we will seek you and we will find you only when we seek you with our whole hearts, Jesus. With our whole hearts, Jesus. So almost all is not enough. We've come to give you all of us, Jesus. Almost all is not enough. I've come to give you all of me, Jesus. enough. We give you all, Jesus. Almost all is not enough. We give you all, Almost all is not enough. We give you all, Jesus. Almost all is not enough. We give you all, Jesus. Almost all is not enough. We give you all, Jesus. Almost all is not enough. We give you all, Jesus. We lay it all. My people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You want us to turn from our wicked ways and seek your face, oh God, to lay down every agenda. Yes, yes. And seek your face, oh God. To lay down intellectuality Seek your face Like never before Oh God We say yes We say yes We say yes, yes. We surrender to you oh God. We surrender We surrender Say yes it's the best thing that we can do. Say yes. We say yes. We 
say yes, Lord. 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 I give you yes, oh God. Father, we give you a yes. Not just individually, but Father, corporately. And not just corporately, but as a country, Father. We surrender the Bahamas back to you, Father. Father, we say we yield as a nation to you, God. We say you be the king. You be the Lord of lords. And you lead us and you guide us, Father. Father, even the leadership that you've given us there, Father God, you lead them and guide them, O oh God. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Father. Father, protect them and cover them, Father. Father, we surrender this nation to you. We surrender its leaders, whether they be civic, whether they, they, they be clergy there, Father God. We surrender, God. We surrender your church back to you, Father. Your body back to you, Father. We say you lead and you have it. You be the head, oh God. You be the head, God. Not our agendas, Father. Not not our, 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 our traditions there, Father God. Not, not what we think is worship, Father, but we surrender to you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we say take charge, Father. Take we say God. undergird even our leaders. We pray for our leaders now, Father. Yes, God. Yes, God. Father, we pray for those who work along with them there, Father God. Father, we thank you, Father. Father, even now as there's been Father, talk of of, 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 of of disease and talk of the pandemic even spreading to the office of our Prime Minister, Father. Father, we take that not lightly there, Father God. Not for who he is, but what he represents there, Father God. Not for what the office is, but what the office represents, God. So we secure, we say secure the leadership of this nation. Not just political there, Father God, but every facet, Father Undergird, secure them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. May no harm come by. Because why? Because all leadership comes from you. All authority comes from above, Father. So, Father, even now as we stand, Father, we stand and say no more to the enemy, their Father God. No more to the attack of our leadership, their Father God. And we stand there, Father God. We say, take leadership. As the heart of the king is in your hand, Father, stand at decisions, their Father God, not according to political, not according to personal affiliation, their Father God, but according to your will, Father. Let them be guided by you, Father. And we thank you, God. We thank you, Father. That the government is deed upon the shoulders of your Lord, Lordship and Christ. We thank you. We submit and surrender to you above everything else. Above political affiliations, Father. We surrender to you, Father. Above family and nepotism, their Father God, we surrender to you, Father. Above personal likes and dislikes, we surrender to you, God. Father, even the spirit of corruption that seemed to creep in and has been indwelled inside this nation, we root it out right now by the roots in the name of Jesus. We then say there shall be righteous judgment in the land. Righteous judgment, Father. Father, we thank you, God. The love for filthy Luca, Father, uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Righteous judgment, Father. Father, we thank you, God. And we repent even now for the part and the places we've, we've prayed in this culture of corruption there, Father God. However small, however big. And Father, we say you have your way, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have your way. We as a nation turn to you. And we say again, have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, as we come to the one that we know to be able to the one that we acknowledge to be strong, to the one that we acknowledge to be our head. Father, I bring the men of this nation before you. Yes. Father, I cast down every imagination, every high thing that is yes. seeking to exalt itself above your knowledge, 
above your wisdom above your way father i decree and declare in the name of jesus that every cultural stronghold that has built been built up pull against the role of the man and yes, the nation of this country like father, father we pull it down right now in the name of jesus god i decree and declare that ways are made for the men of this nation to take their place as the head of their households to take their place huh, as the chief intercessors as the priest huh, of their households huh. god we know that cultures have risen huh, that speak against her huh, the order that you have set her huh, but i pull down every culture huh, that will cause us to self-destruct huh, right now by the authority huh, yes. of the most high God yes. huh. yes. Lord yes. God by the prophetic yes. anointing huh, I tap in yes. I stand as an advocate huh, of the glory huh, and of the spirit of the Lord huh, and I decree and declare huh, in the name of Jesus huh, that these Bahamian men huh, that they will rise huh, that they will take their place huh, that everything that is standing in their way would be broken down in the name of Jesus you said in your word oh God behold behold I give unto you power to tread upon serpents to tread upon scorpions and all of the powers of the enemy and by no means shall we be harmed so I am not afraid to take a stand as a man on behalf of the men of this nation and call you to rise Every man, rise, every man, rise to the occasion in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, and to every evil word, to every wicked word that has been spoken over our men, that they are dogs, that they are no good, that there is no hope. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because my master, the one that sent me, is more powerful than any word, than any word curse that can be cast over our men. And so God, I decree and declare that men are returning to their homes. That in these tough times, rather than seeking ungodly alternatives, that men will begin to bring their families together, their wives, their children, to pray. Yes. and to seek your face yes. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus he Koshaya, that the integrity of the man yes. in society will be restored yes. to the Bahamas he yes. God I know that this prayer is ambitious but I'm standing upon the foundation of your word yes. that says he Koshaya. that we will have what we say and by faith I decree and declare that these men would stand as an example to their sons so that we would begin a new chain in which the right values are passed on from fathers to their sons and even from fathers to their daughters I rebuke drugs and alcoholism and absenteeism and I decree and declare God, I don't know how you're going to do it. God, I don't know how it's going to happen. But I believe you to be a big God. Yeah. I believe you to be a strong God. I believe you to be an innovative God. And so I take the back seat. But I put you at the forefront. Take center stage. Minister to the hearts of these men. Call out to them, oh God. Touch their hearts. And bring them home. Bring them back into the house of the Lord. Bring them back into the fold of the Lord. Bring them back into the inner courts that they may take their place. Father, your women have done a phenomenal job at holding down the fort. But I decree and declare that coming out of this situation, out of this pandemic, that more and more men will feel the fire yes. and the unction of the Holy Ghost to take their rightful place and to lead the charge of taking this next generation to the place that they need to be God let these things be so in no other name but the one that I know to be mighty and matchless and all powerful that name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah 
Father, in Jesus' name, even now in this moment, we bring the borders of the Bahamas before you. And we thank you now, God, that he who has kept us, he is faithful to continue to do just that. So even now, we ask that you would show up and show off your protectiveness concerning us as your children. We release angels with flaming swords dipped in blood that stand at the gate of our nation now. They stand at the gate of the borders now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that our gates, our borders are now protected by the word of God that says he that watches over us does not sleep neither slumber we thank you now that your Lord God you rise hey you rise and demonstrate your power you arise and demonstrate your nature we thank you now, God, that your word is sure, your word is true, and we know now, God, that you are with us. None can stand, none can stand, none can stand against us. We thank you now, Father, that every weight, every crack, every crevice, that every ungodly connection, every ungodly nation, every ungodly character every ungodly spirit that is tried to creep into your nation we thank you now God that they are disallowed in the name of Jesus we thank you now that your angels are covering this nation's borders in the name of Jesus and it does not matter which spirit which sickness, which disease is coming to other territories. We ban this territory. We dictate now that they have no right here. They are not from here and they are not from you. We declare in the name of Jesus that they got to pick up their weapons and flee. For the Lord has given us authority to walk all over them. We thank you now, Father, that every sickness, every disease has been put under our feet. And we trample over it. We trample over it. We trample over it. And Father, even now, we thank you that your intercessors are about to arise they are arising in this hour to stand guard over this territory over the borders we thank you now king glory that you alone has the invitation and right to enter so we lift up the gates of the borders to you king glory because you're ready to enter we say king glory come in king glory come in king glory come in we say king glory come in and father even now we thank you that hurricane season has come we thank you now for your divine protection we thank you that even now you've already started to prove your will and you've already started to prove your work even concerning the hurricanes we thank you that even though they may bark and scream they have no right to us because god of the angel armies he walks with us he keeps us he that has become a good work we declare that he is faithful to complete it. We bless you now, Abba. We give you glory. Oh. 
you back into the families of this yes. nation. We invite you back in to the families of this nation, oh God. In this moment, oh God, we stand as men, oh God. We stand as priests. We stand together with one sound, one heart, and one mind, declaring in this moment, Holy Spirit, we invite you back into the hearts of our families, oh God. Oh God, we push aside everything else that may have taken your place. We tear down every altar that may be that may have been exalted. Oh God, we tear down everything in this moment, God, that may be trying to take your place in our families. Oh God, we call husbands back to wives. We call wives back to husbands. 
We call children back to fathers. We call fathers back to their children. We call mothers back home. We call prodigal sons and daughters back home. God, in this moment, we pray, oh God, that the family unit is being restored. That the family unit now, God, is coming back together. Father, in this moment, oh God, we come against everything that may be trying to distract, that may be trying to tear down what it is that you need to do within the families of this nation. And we say, Holy Spirit, come. Yes. We say, Holy Spirit, come. Come, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome to come and to have your way. Oh God, we may have, may, may have allowed this world to distract us. We may have allowed the, the circumstances that we're currently in to hinder us. But God, in this moment, we stand on your word. We stand in your presence. And we say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome to come. You're welcome to come and to burn out everything that is not like you. You're welcome to come and to dwell and to sit and to rest, to rule and abide with us. Oh God, you are welcome into this place. You are welcome into our families, oh God. We call the families of this nation back to you. We call it back to you, God. We pray, oh God, for the widows and the orphans. We pray, oh God, that you will keep them in perfect peace. Yeah. We pray, oh God, that you will cover them, that you will give them, oh God, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, we pray, oh God, that you are bringing structure back, oh yes. God, to what has been structureless, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you're now defining, oh God, what has been without definition. We pray, oh God, for the singles of this nation, oh God. Those that may be lonely, those that may be in this pandemic, oh God, that may, oh God, be lost, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you be a friend that's the closest than a brother. Yeah. We pray, oh God, in this moment, oh God, that the family unit is being restored. God, we welcome you. God, we welcome you. We welcome you back into everything that we are. All that we are, we welcome you back. Holy Spirit, we say come. Yes. Holy Spirit, we say come. We recognize, oh God, that you are a gentleman. And so you won't come where you're not welcome. You won't come, oh God, where you're not invited. You won't come, oh God, if we don't invite you in. You won't come, oh God, if the conditions are not right. So God, in this moment, we create a place. We create a place. We're creating an atmosphere. We're creating an invitation for you to come and to dwell with us. Brasta la vacutura vacata. Yanda na vacutura vacata. Yanda na vacutura vacata. Rende na vacutu. Yanda na vacutura vacata. Holy Spirit come. Holy Spirit come. Holy Spirit come. So we say you are welcome. We open our hearts back to you. We open our minds back to you. We open our spirits back to you, God. And we say, fill every void yep. until there's yep. nothing left but you. Fill every crevice, oh God, until there's nothing left but you. Come, rest, rule and abide with us. And we give honor to the only wise God. The one who is worthy, the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Kabasoto Raba. Holy. Rana Masoto Nanama. Nothing else but you. Yanama Soto Yanana Nanama. Fill every space. Oh. Oh. our hearts cry back to you oh God we release our hearts cry back to you hear our hearts cry oh God hear our hearts cry we need you hear our hearts our hearts our hearts our hearts our hearts to you we come, to you, oh God. Oh, 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 oh. 
the kingdom yours? Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours is the kingdom yours. Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours is the kingdom yours. Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours is the kingdom yours. Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours. Yes, Jesus. Is the king stand against you? Is the power Nothing can rise against yours. you, Jesus. Is the glory the kingdom belongs, belongs, belongs. Is the kingdom yours? Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? So, Father, right now, 
we thank you for small business and small business owners father we thank you lord that you are the god who owns the cattle on a thousand hills you are the god who created all of creation in just six days you are the god who operates in doing things that seem impossible to man so father right now we thank you for sustaining the market of small businesses we thank you lord that even in a season where they should die or go under we thank you lord that they will arise oh yes we prophesy we declare that more than enough increase expansion is their own we thank you now father that you alone are god and you alone will get glory from it we thank you now father that the owners of these small businesses will not lose heart they will not throw in the towel prematurely but we thank you lord that they will stand at ease knowing that you fight for them they will stand in confidence and liberty knowing that you god who have begun a good work you are faithful to complete so father we thank you now that minds are coming together yes hearts are coming together and where they see fit they will partner with others to build business oh father we thank you that there will be a mass merging of small businesses coming together forming bodies of strength uniting we thank you now god that you alone are god and you will do what no other power can do. So, Father, we say arise. Yeah. We say demonstrate your power. Arise. Demonstrate your kingdom. Arise. We bless you for it. We give you glory. And Father, we thank you for this being the time and the season for creative ideas and for creative thinking to come forward. We thank you this is the time for creative to arise even now, oh God. We thank you for you, God. Are the original creative there, Father God, and we are made in your image and in your likeness. So creativity lives within us, God. So we say, let the creativity of heaven arise out of your people, God. We say, even now, creative solutions to the problems that have perplexed this world there, Father God. We say, solutions arise. Solutions come forth. Solutions come forth, Father. Father, we replace even now out of the mouth and the thinking of your people, Father. Instead of complaining there, Father God, we... We speak even now creative solutions. Solutions come forth out of the mouth of your people, oh God. We thank you there, Father God, that this will not be the time of the black crab syndrome where we pull each other down there, Father God, but this will be the time where we boost each other with creative ideas there, Father God. Father, even in the dreams, even in the in our times of sitting down and resting there, Father God, download creative to creativity to your people there, Father God. Let this be the era of the creative there, Father God. And not just the creative, their Father God, who do not know their God. But we mean the creative who will say that Yahweh, Jehovah, God Almighty, gave power to the belt. And we thank you, God. We thank you even now, Father. For this coming together, their Father God. We thank you even now, their Father God, for you are the orchestrator. You are the orchestrator of it, God. So, Father, have your way. Father, do away with small thinking there, Father God. Do away with small thinking that have choked your people for so many years, Father. Let the minds of your people be expanded there, Father God. Let all the limitations and the borders that we placed upon ourselves be removed by your Spirit, God. Let kingdom creativity rise again, oh God. Let kingdom creativity rise again, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for it. Have you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we find ourselves in a place where our main industry has failed us economically as a result of the pandemic that we're currently faced with. But God, we believe that you have given us the innovation and the ingenuity to rebuild and to build strong. Father, we acknowledge that there is a need for the most talented among us to take the forefront 
and to guide us into new economic structures. God, we decree and declare that coming out of this will be those that will drive us ahead into new industries. God, we thank you that we will no longer be dependent upon an industry that has failed us. God, but we will not allow our natural eyes to deceive us, but we look with the eyes of the Spirit. God, you said, let there be light, and at your word, the world was created. And as your children, as a royal priesthood, we believe that that same Spirit is resting on us to diversify our economy. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak that the agricultural industry is coming forth. I speak that the manufacturing industry is coming forth. I speak that the pharmaceutical industry is coming forth. I speak that the technological industry is coming forth. In the name of Jesus, God, let there be a revolution. Oh God, as the creators think, and as the small business owners come forth, God, give them the creativity. Give them the courage to push us in the next direction that will enable us to be sustained. So that even when the world is in a time of famine, that this nation will be able to rise huh? yes. father in the name of Jesus huh? I decree and declare that we will make this a priority father I decree and declare that change is coming huh? revitalize this nation huh? with your breath huh? yes. that brings life huh? oh God you asked your prophet huh? can these dry bones live huh? yes. and he said God only you know huh? but I dare to say yes huh? yes Yes, they can live. Yes, they can live. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the dry bones that we see will live. As a matter of fact, we command you to live. Yes. At the word of your prophet, there was a shaking even in the valley of the dry bones. You said that they were very dry, similar to what we face today unemployment food insecurity all matters related to the state of our economy but you said the dry bones could live and so with the breath that you've given us we speak over every dry bone every economic dry bone we prophesy to you now we command you to rise we command you to live we command bone to connect to bone sinew to connect to sinew muscle to connect to muscle we command the breath of God to breathe life into the economy of the Bahamas right now in the name of Jesus we command the mighty army that was once the valley of the dry bones to stand as a great army and to take us to a future that is prosperous a future where every man, woman, boy and girl by faith can live, can eat can be sustained we believe that you can do it we're placing faith in a God that has proven himself over and over yeah. again. No, you you prove yourself over and over yeah. again. You prove yourself over and over and over again. You've already written our story, God. This comes as no surprise to you. But I believe that if we could speak, if we could prophesy, that we will see your power, Jesus, manifest like never before. You've given us the answer. And so I declare that every person, every Bahamian that needs to come to the forefront to chart the course of change would take their place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give Glory, we worship you, we honor you, we give you 
of the hearts and the lips of every Bahamian father that you stay right here in the midst of us oh God father we speak this nation turning and returning to you their father God that we offer ourselves unto you their father in the name of Jesus father father we say let there be a mighty revival to sweep through this land their father God not a revival of religion, but a revival of relationship. A revival of, a revival of revelation of seeing you as you are God. As knowing you as the mighty God. As the great God. As the God of the Bahamalai. We say, let there be a revival of you, oh God. Let us draw our reference to you, God. Let us say, this has been the time that the great God has brought us over. We have not brought ourselves to this place. But we have been brought here by the mighty God. It is Him who's brought us through. And let us tell this to generations, and the generations of generations, and to their generations, of the mighty works that our God has done. And let the revival fire, Father, bring the silence, the wonders, the miracles, their Father God. Let the revival fire bring your glory in the hearts of men, God. That they will turn themselves to you and say, This is a great God. Who can help worship? Who can help and worship this great God? Who can help and follow this great God? Yes. Who can help and surrender unto yes. this great God? Hallelujah. Let this be the cry of every Bahamian God. Let there be, Father, not only household salvation, their Father God, but national salvation, Father. Let the nation of the Lord return. Let the nation of the Bahamas return to the Lord. Let the nation of the Bahamas be called the nation that the Lord dwells in. Yes. Let this be a people united in love and service unto you, O God. Let us continue to march on in you, God. Father, let this nation, God, let the heart of the people return to you, God. Stay right here with us, O God. Stay in the midst of a people. 
thank you, Father. Thank you, God. And we say, even now, mighty God, speak. Let the Spirit of God give utterance to your people, God. Let them speak. Let them prophesy. Let them tell of your goodness, oh God. Father, we say, let the spirit of the prophet be released in this land, God. Let the spirit of intercession be released in this land. Let the spirit of worship be released in this land, oh God. And let them testify, God. Because we've overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, God. We have overcome, God. Hallelujah. Presence Hallelujah. We call upon Hiramandurukukuya. We call upon Jehovah Rapha. Yeah. We call upon Jehovah Rapha. The God that heals. Be the God of our health care system. Yeah. Yes. Be the God of the ministry of health. Be the God, Jehovah Rapha, of the minister of health, of the prime minister, Jehovah Rapha. Be the God of the Princess Margaret Hospital. Jehovah Rapha, be the God of the, the Public Hospital Association. Be the God of the Rand Memorial Hospital. Yes, yes, God. Be the God of every public and private health care facility. Yeah, walk through God. Walk through God. Spirit of the living God, walk through God. We've spent so much time just looking at the data. And God, while we have respect for the data, while we have respect for the numbers, while we have respect for the search for the vaccine, we, the people of God, decide to call upon Jehovah Rapha. Yeah, our trust is in you, God. The one that is able to heal. Oh, how we've forgotten about the supernatural power of Jehovah Rapha to rest his hand down and to heal the people. I decree and declare that as a result of the presence of Jehovah Rapha, our health system, it shall not be overwhelmed. It will not be overwhelmed. The doctors will not be overwhelmed. The nurses will not be overwhelmed. No worker, no sanitation worker, no janitor, no administrative staff in the health system will be overwhelmed. He kandarabasaya. He amandorababashia. The chief medical officer, the deputy chief medical officer, let them acknowledge Jehovah Rapha. He abande ayako isaya. He ande namando abaseko. We've tried so many things, oh God. But let them try Jehovah Rapha. He heals, he heals, he heals. He heals, he heals, he heals. Jehovah Rapha heals. He katadadadadabasha. Over every COVID-19 patient, let them call on Rapha. On Rapha. On Rapha. Take the forefront. Lord God, the conversation has been about everything else. But I decree and declare, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha. Remind the people of your name, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rapha. Every time they're nervous, every time they're afraid, every time there's another case. Let them cry, Rapha, Rapha. We call on Jehovah Rapha. May we never forget the name Rafa. May we never forget the name. Because at the end of the day, we don't care what the numbers look like. But we care that you are with us. 
And I believe that you, Jehovah Rapha, can give us the wisdom to keep ourselves safe. That you can give us the wisdom to do what is required to obey the laws that are put before us. And even if more should get sick, we call upon the name of Jehovah Rapha. Stand at the gate. We can stand at the gate, but lest you join us, Jehovah Rapha, we will be ineffective. And so we go back to that place where we say, Come, Lord, dwell among us, dwell among us, Jehovah Rapha. We will not be overwhelmed. We will not be overwhelmed. We need you to come. We need you to come, oh God. Come now. Come now. Protect 
So God, our prayer today, God, is that you will reignite altars that may have been put out. That God, in this moment, that God, hearts may have, that may be weary. Hearts, oh God, that may be despondent. Hearts in this moment, oh God, that may be so concerned about the cares of this world, God. We pray, oh God, that the altar, that the fire of the Lord in this moment will be reignited within this nation. Oh God, that worship will re-arise, oh God. We will turn to the hill from which cometh our help, oh God. We will turn back to you, oh God, that our hearts will turn back to you. That our minds, our spirits, we will turn back to you, oh God. We pray, oh God, that our altars, oh God, that we may have placed other things on them, oh God. That we may have erected altars, oh God, that may worship something else. But God, in this moment, we ignite the altar of the Lord. Yeah. We call on the fire of the sovereign God to burn out everything that is not like you. And God set a fire within us that can't be contained or controlled. Set a fire within us, oh God, that will give us the passion, that will give us the drive, that will give us the tenacity that we need, oh God, to press beyond our feelings, to push past how we normally feel, to push past where we would normally stop, to push past, oh God, what may be going on on the outside, oh God. Give us a fire, oh God, that will consume us from the inside out. Yeah. That God, when they see us, they see you. That when they look at us, God, they only see you. God, our desire, God, is not that they see us. Not that they hear us. But God, that they hear you. Yeah, you get the glory. That they hear you. Yeah. That they see you. Yeah. That they encounter the one who can save. The one who can set free. The one who can deliver. God, we need you. God, we need you. We admit in this moment that we need you. And we declare like Moses, God, if you don't go with us, we won't go. If you don't go before us, God, we won't go. But God, we need you. May worship arise. May worship, may pure, authentic worship arise once again. As we put our hands to build the altar of the Lord as we put our hands once again to build the altar of the Lord in our lives, in our families, oh God, in our communities, as we put our hand to the plow to build once again. Oh God, may this altar never be destroyed. May it never, oh God, be bare, our flame never be put out. But God, set a fire. Set a fire. Set a fire, God that nothing can extinguish, nothing can put out. Oh God, burn within us. Burn within us. Burn within us. Burn within us, oh God. As we commit to you, as we seek after you, as we hunger after you, as the deer pants for the water, so our souls hunger and thirst after the God of our salvation we need you God we need you oh God it's our desire we need you oh God that's our heart's desire just to have you, Father, is our desire. Oh, we need you. That's our desire. We need you, Lord. That's our desire. We need 
you, Lord. That's all. Desire is to know you more, to love you more, to know you more, to love you, to love you more and more. No. Father, we thank you, God. Father, even as this time of worship, this time of intercession, this time of prophetic release, there, Father God. Father, let it be like Samuel there, Father God, where none of the words fell to the ground, Father. Father, we thank you, God. And we submit and surrender to you, God. We seal every word in your power, your glory, God. And we thank you, God, for what all you have done this day. We thank you, God. Into purpose, into identity. For yea, saith the Lord, 
There has come upon you a spirit of slumber, but I, the Lord, shall shake you loose. <laughs> I, the Lord, your God, will shake off those grave clothes, for now is the hour for you to be awakened, save God. For yea, save God, even as this has been chosen as the moment, as the time for you to refocus, regain consciousness. Many of you have taken it for granted, have taken it for life. And you've allowed the enemy to fan out of flame your embers. But I would say unto this people, awake and arise, awake and arise for now is the hour of visitation. Now is the hour of impartation. Now is the hour of invigoration. And I, the Lord your God, have strategically carved out this season for you to walk into purpose, for you to walk into your calling. Where you were too busy, I've made you have time. Where you were out of resources, I've given you a storehouse of wealth. Think it not strange, for this is the season and the moment for you to sit in your camp and build for the new build for the new season save God for this is the hour that will not only put you in the place where you will triumph but I the Lord thy God shall make you great and I will make the path before you straight fret not about your tomorrow as you ascend I will cause you to come into the promise I will cause you to come into the resources but all you need to do is awake arise and make the first step For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it Espíritu Santo, bienvenidos en el este lugar. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. We welcome you to perfect us in this season yes. of stepping out of the boat. We ask, Father, that you would teach us how to not take it for granted, although it seems like we may not be able to stand. Father, give us the courage, the boldness and the tenacity to walk in the footprints of Jesus. Father, as you have shown us the way, we take delight in being those bold ones to step outside of the boat, step outside of what is comfortable step outside of what is familiar step outside of what seems to be the way of pure safety we step outside of it and we say oh father guide our feet where they dare not stand alone guide our feet where they dare not stand alone we bless you